Hi everybody, this is the International back for another video. So today we are going to be sorting out the house for my GBB Chromatopelma sign for the essence. Now I have just had a malt just come out of him, or her, I, don't, I haven't actually sexed it yet. Uh, but what we're going to do is because I've got this cork tube in there, I'm worried that it's going to get a little bit too big for the cork tube and it might cause um, some complications when malting a future date so what we're going to do is we're going to get that tube out uh, and we're just going to just jig the house around a little bit so so yeah let's get them out so as you can see guys it's made a bit of a webbing over the back there so we're gonna to have to clear all that out and as if you can see on the floor there's some parts of legs where the malt's kind of gone bit hard and crumbly so so yeah so what we're going to do first is we're going to get all this webbing out tidy it up a bit um, then we're going to remove the tube hopefully it doesn't bulk too much I've got a catch cup ready just in case so we're just gonna pick up the bits of rubbish off the floor Some legs down there, there we go, nice bit of leg. So I think what that was from was from the previous malt where it lifted down the bottom of the tube. And I couldn't actually get it out. But it's finally kicked everything out. So now time for the webbing guys, so we're going to gently just pick away the webbing from the cork tube. It's surprising how strong this stuff actually is, it's really amazing. fake plant, get all the webbing and the dirt off. I'll give it a quick rinse. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do is gently remove the Fiber. I think the spider is going to stay in this tube by the looks of it. Hopefully, don't spook it too much. thing to do is put this catch cup in there like that
Eita. Agora vai pra frente. That As you can see, it's put on a bit of size, and it's actually this time it's got the green carapace because last time it molted it never had that that green carapace. Let's see if I can get a, a close up of it. There we are, guys. It's starting to look like a proper green little blue now. to stay in this catch cup for the time being so we can then redecorate its enclosure so come on you go down now down 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 no down doesn't want to go in guys come on no no okay we'll do it this way then Not on the camera. There we go. This way. There we go. Go on, keep going. Keep going. Right, so we've got it in the enclosure, guys. So now we can sort out this mess. Right guys, so first off, we're just going to add a little bit more substrate. So this is just a bit more thicker fibre. It's a little bit damp, but it should be fine. I'll just mix it in with the dry stuff in here. It'll be completely fine. I'm going to take a day or two to dry out, maybe completely, but Where the stuff in there is bone dry already, it won't take long if I mix it all together to, to really dry out properly. It's, it's really dry now, so. Okay, and with, again, with, G, with, with the GDBBs, you don't need a massive amount of substrate. Probably one of the only ones where you want to say less substrate than needs more substrate. Because they don't particularly burrow. So what I've got is just a piece of cork bark. So we're going to put it into the corner. Put a bit over the top back. Give it a little bit of something to hide in. That'd be perfect. It's got some anchor points to web to as well. Just there. 
Another thing I've got as well is I've got this, it's just a cactus ornament. So I will pop this. Just like so. Gives it some more anchorage for when it wants to web up. Just clean off the sides there. So guys. So there guys, there we have it. So looks a bit more. I'm feeling a bit more comfortable with that, so it's got a, still got a bit of a hide down there. But that tube, it was quite thin, you see, so if I can just grab it here. So I didn't want any complications caused if it was to, when it was to um, molt again. So where it's getting a, a decent size now, it's uh, yeah, a bit, it can get a bit risky if you're, if it's molting in a small place, it can easily get stuck. So. So yeah, so next up we're gonna get it back in. Right guys, so we're ready to get the chromatopalmocyan pubescence back into its enclosure. And as you can see, it's just in this pot here. Excuse the, uh, the flash. It's calmed down a little bit now. There we go. So, Just ease it out onto the substrate. Right, don't want to go. Yeah. Right. No. Please don't bolt. Oh, there you go. There, guys. So if we're just going to try and ease it down, back down. There you go. See, you're still in your house. Isn't it beautiful, guys? Beautiful tarantula. So there we have it. So that was a successful rehouse. Um, Comment down something if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, uh, appreciate all the uh, the feedback that I get from my videos. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next one, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.